Shalom, shalom. Shalom. First of all, we want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha We want to give double honors to the prosperity minister who rule well and teach well. We want to give a mighty shalom to all the Akim and Aqua out there staying rooted in his faith and truth day in and day out, pushing the will of the Lord. Okay? This is the brother. These are the brothers from the Gary Branch of Great Millstone, I'm Brother Iowa. This is Brother Yashallah. And today we just want to go into pretty much the milk, the foundation where you got to start it, man. You got to desire to serve milk because that's what the Lord is giving you. It's just like a newborn babe. That's it. When you come back into the truth, he said you have to be born again, mm -hmm. right? So if you're being born again, that means you have to come back with a blank mindset, mm -hmm. a clear mindset. You have to wipe away all of the doctrines and things that you were taught beforehand that's and it. come here with a, um, what's the word, an open mind. Right? So like a baby, a baby doesn't know any better when it comes to this world. It only knows what its parent is feeding them. So it's the same thing. We have to come back as a babe and just it's, just sup with the Lord and take in the nourishment that he's given us at a small time. Yeah, yeah. Right? So you start with the milk. A baby doesn't come off back eating steak God. and all that savior uh savior's meat. Mm -hmm. No, it starts with the milk, something that's easy to digest. God. God. And and not only that, it's get, it it has to get, it has to get fed from you know, from the breast, man, <laughs> you know, from the mother, yep. you know, it's not like, you know, you know, he just uh, know what the breast is, you know, no, the mother has to, you know, kind of, you know, um, uh, nurse him into, you know, uh, into sucking that breast, man. Introduce yeah, introduce him to that breast, man. You know what I mean? And, and, and the mother has to, you know, uh, eat, eat salt, you know, to be able to produce the milk, you know, to, you know, to be able to, you know, feed the, uh, that baby. You know what I'm saying? So right, with that, you know, that's our apostles and elders, man. You know, and our bishops, you know, here at Great Millstone who ruled and taught us well, you know, and they most, you know, and they started us off with the milk, man. Come. You know, like you say, with the foundation. The foundation is, you know, the law, you know, understanding that, you know, but more so the foundation is is the belief, the faith, man. Faith in what? Yeah, I was shy, man. Come. You know what I'm saying? But the law, it was just, it's just a schoolmaster. You know, just if you think about a baby, man, a baby ain't, you know, ready to go to school until he what? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, three, four, you know, five years old in some cases, man. You know what I mean? But this, we ready, you know, because all of us is born again, man. You know, and that's all of us got to be born into this truth again, man. You know? Or well, it's that John chapter 3. We can actually get that later. You know, but we can start off with this, though. This is First Peter's chapter 2 and verse, let me start at verse 1. Two. No, one. you start at 1. Verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies mm -hmm. and envies and all evil speakings. Right, because that's how we was in the world, man. You know, and, and, and though we all of us came in, you know, some of us was, you know, 40, you know, 50, 20, you know, whatever it may, whatever the case of your age may be. You know, when you came into this truth, man, the Lord, you know, you had to start all over again, man. God. You see what I'm saying? You everything, And this is how it was in the world, man. Because this is what the world, you know, uh, spearheading Esau, Edom, you know, uh, taught us, man. You know, this malice, you know, the envying, you know, evil speaking of your brother, whatever it may be, man. But when we came into this truth, man, we, we started all over with the Lord gave us a clean slate. God. You know what I'm saying? And with that clean slate, man, we are likened unto babes. And when you consider a babe, a man, a babe is like a sponge, you know, and it soaks up everything that you teach him, man. You know, that's why it's right. You know, it's imperative that, you know, we get under, you know, good teachers, man, that be able to, to teach us the right way, man. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a known fact, you know, if you have the mother and the father in, in, in their child's life and you teach them the right way, man, that child will grow up to be successful, man. What's the mm -hmm. scripture says? Train up a child. The way, the way you should go. Yep. Con, get that. Get that. Get that. I think that's in Proverbs somewhere. Con. Train up a child. Con, that's a beautiful uh, point, man. You know, because, you know, with, with a good with good training, you know, and with, with a good uh, 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 tutor within our, um, you know, within our apostleship, you know, our apostles and elders and bishops on down, you know what I'm saying, has taught us, you know, uh, the right way, man. Huh. And it's building us up as men and more so men of the Lord. Well, yet Proverbs 22 and 6. Proverbs chapter 22 and 6. Let me get that. Come on, you got it. This is chapter, this is the book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. Mm -hmm. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. What, depart from what, man? Those morals in life, man. Those morals, you know, in the instruction of the Lord. That's in Proverbs chapter 4, actually. Would, would, would actually, you know, give us a life, you know, that that's um, 
that's very profitable, man. Come on. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because why? It's instructions of the Lord, man. Come on. And the Lord is likened unto our father, man. You know, and that wisdom is likened to our mother. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And that wisdom, you know, we can't live life without that wisdom, man, because that wisdom has to nourish us up, you know what I'm saying, into the man, you know, that the Lord wants us to be, man. Yep. You know, not not for us and, and for, you know, our greedy gain or whatever it may be, you know, but 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 for, you know, for the will of the Lord to do the will of the Lord, man. You know, that's why it's, it's, it, it, it's a, that's very important, you know, to train up, you know, your child or whatever it may be, you know, or someone that comes after you, you know, what I'm saying in the truth, you know, the right way, man. You know, you got it. Pretty much just like in the carnal sense, they mm -hmm. say you act like you don't got no home training. Like I didn't teach <laughs> you no better. Con, exactly. But yeah. all that home training really means is what your parents have instilled in you. That's it. Right from wrong. That's it. So what the Lord is trying to do, we already see what was wrong. Mm -hmm. Now the Lord is bringing us back to tell us on the contrary, this is what you should have been doing. Yeah, yeah. Because we are, uh, instinctively, you know, already had an idea, you know, what was wrong and what was right. But when we came into this truth, this marvelous light, we understood why it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? We understood how it was very detrimental, you know, to our life and not only our lives, you know, our brother's lives, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't care, if you if you don't care about your brother, man, it's, it's, it's impossible for you to care about your life, man. You see what I'm saying? So this is what we had to learn all over, man. You know, and, and with that, we had to come as if we knew nothing. You know, we couldn't bring the outside world with, into this truth like that, man. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because it was going to tarnish and taint, you know, our growth and stun our growth. Oh, wow. It's going to stun our growth, man, into this truth, man. You can't bring out that. That's why I started off with, you know, let's go back to it as well, too, not unless you have something else. I'm going to have the Hebrews too because that's what you brought up pretty much. Con, uh, let's, let's get that right quick. Matter of fact, let's get, let's get that first Peters again. And then we can go back to that Hebrews 12. Yes, sir. That's why I start off, you know, uh, with verse one, it says, Wherefore laying aside all malice, all gal, hypocrisy, and envy, and all speaking, you know, evil speakings, man. All right? Why? Because what did the scripture say? Evil communication corrupted good matters, man. And we was corrupted, you know, when we came from, uh, out of that world, man. We was corrupted. So the Lord had to wash our brain all over again, you know, and, 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 and reprogram us, man. God, you know? new creature. Hey, there you go, man. And Yahweh Shai, though. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Because we got to have to get the attributes of Yahweh Shai, man. And get the attributes of this world off us, man. Out with the old and with the Out new. with the old and with the new. That was so beautiful, man. Like a snake. You know, a snake must shed his skin, his old skin, man, in order to grow, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we doing, man. We shedding off the world, man. Right. You know, because the world, you know, it, we, it can't contain us anymore, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Once we came into this truth, man, you know, the world really can't contain the Lord has made us free, man, once again, man. You know, so this world can't contain us no more, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, we're very vexed, you know, when we come into this world and we, we see certain things that's, that's off, you know, and, and some things we have to stay disciplined and be quiet on, you know, but when we out there on the highways and byways, we, we crying like a baby, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like he's saying uh, Isaiah 58, man. You know, cry loud, spare none, man. Lift up your voice like a trumpet, you know, and show my people their transgressions, man. All right, we're crying very loud unto the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we can go, we can get the Hebrews if you want it. Uh, just hitting on the point how, like, the Lord is doing this for our, uh, mm -hmm. our betterment. That's it. That's it. Um, give me one more, man. Mm -hmm. Actually, I started verse 9. He says Hebrews 12 and 9. Yep. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, Woo. and we give them reverence. Shall we not much, shall we not much rather be in subjection to the Father of spirits and live? Mm. For they verily for a few days chastised us after their own pleasure. Mm. But he for our profit, mm. our profit, that we may be partakers of his holiness. That's it, man. Hey, and, and, and we understand, you know, if you chastise your child, man, it's not it's not just to do it, you know, just because you want to whip his ass, man. No, man. You understand, you know, that 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 rod, if you spoil the rod. If you spare the rod, you're going to spoil that child, man. Uh -huh. You know, if that child don't get disciplined at an early age, when it's like, especially if he was a boy, you know, he's going to grow up, you know, bucking up against you, man. You see what I'm saying? And that's what you don't want, man. You don't, you want morals, true morals in life to where you don't disrespect your elders who brought you in, you know, into this truth, man. Which we, the Lord brought us into us, but who, who we are under, 
under the tutelage, tutelage of, man. You see what I'm saying? You don't disagree, even though if you, you might disagree on certain lifestyles or whatever it is, but hey, man, you know, but not in this knowledge, man. You know, because this knowledge is is, is is the key of our growth, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You want to get, you might as well get 11 on that. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Mm -hmm. It's a scripture where it pretty much says, like, the woman mm -hmm. is the mother of monstrous children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paraphrasing. Come on, come so that's come pretty much what the world does, man. Mm -hmm. When you don't do what you're, um, when you don't, what's it called? It? Pretty much put, uh, discipline your children. Mm -hmm. This is what happens. We see it all around the world now. That's it. You see these children that you, oh, they're so funny. He cussing. Oh, it's so funny. He doing mm -hmm. all this bad stuff. Mm -hmm. But come when he gets older and it's out of control, you can't handle it anymore. Right. Now, little Ray Ray or Man Man is mm -hmm. locked up behind... <laughs> behind the sale. That's it, yeah. And th and that's also due to, you know, the product of single mother family hold. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where there's no balance. You know, even though we're in the truth, you know, we pushing this world, we still have to, you know, take part of those curses, man, until yeah. the Lord, you know, lift those curses off, man. Because we was once in the world, you know what I'm saying? And we was taught how to deal with a woman and how to approach a woman or whatever it is and deal with family all wrong, man. All right. So we had to deal with that coming into this truth, man. That shit don't stop. We still gonna have to deal with wicked women. We still gonna have to deal with, deal with wicked children. Yep. And we still gonna have to deal with, you know, our vices that had to hold us, man. Wow. You know, that's why it's important, you know what I'm saying, that we we take part of a discipline as well within this truth world as well too, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna put off that old world, man. So if we were to lose those things that we had in the world, now in this truth, we understand how to gain it righteously, man. You see what I'm saying? Now because we've been what? Born again, man. Oh. You know what I'm saying? The, we desire that sincere milk, which is that next scripture, man. If you want to get more, you say, yeah, you yeah say get 11. 11. Come. This is Hebrews 12 and 11. Mm -hmm. Now, I know chastising for the present seems to be joyous, mm -hmm. but grievous nevertheless. Mm -hmm. Afterward, mm -hmm. it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Hey, and that's so true, man. Having children, you see what I'm saying? Which is the fruit and a pride of a man's, you know, a joy of a man's uh, heart. You see what I'm saying? Hey, hey, you chastising your children, man. They're not going to understand why they're getting chastised, man. They're going to be mad. Huh. But only for a moment, man. You know, that's how you understand the true love of a son or a daughter, whatever it may be. You know, they can be mad at you one day, man, but be loving and hugging on you, you know, an hour later, man. Yep. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's you design. That's how he is with the Lord. Huh. You know, the Lord can, you know, whoop our ass. You see what I'm saying? And chastising us. You know, but what? We right back in the scriptures, man. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because we understand why our, our bread is buttered, man. Yep. You know, we understand what, what we get, you know, our instructions. You know, we understand that the Lord really loves us, man. You know, because he chastises. What he say? He that he love it, he chastises, man. Yep, and if you, you don't be chastised, you're mm -hmm. a bastard. You're pretty child. much a bastard, man. You feel what I'm saying? You know, and we're not bastard children anymore, man. Uh -huh. We were when we when we were in the world, man, but the Lord still showed our favor, showed his favor on us, man. This was part of that agreement back in the book of Judges, mm -hmm. where he told them pretty much says, "Go on, choose ye your gods to save you in that tribulation." Come. But that next verse, you had the elect in the one forty four who said, "Well, Lord, we apologize. Do as you will to That's us." That's it. Yeah, yeah. So this is part of the way he's doing that with. He's gonna that's put it. us in. Um, he's getting us in order now. Come, come, and that's and that's taking us through the straits, man. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. and, and having us start from ground zero, like we going into, man. What they yeah, start designing. You know the sincere milk man as, as as newborn babes man you see what i'm saying we have to start this process all over man you know what i mean and that's a grievous thing in itself who because who wants to start all over man you know knowing that what you had even in the world man you 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 know you was up you know you had a you know your, your, your business is going you had a bag going you know what i'm saying you, you you know you did your thing man or whatever it is carnally you know financially whatever it may be you know but when you come into this truth man you obligated to lose all that shit, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And guess what? Now you have to start all over, man. Now you have to have a true belief and trust in the Lord and and, and, or, and, and trust in the Lord that he will get you back to that same spot or better or not even get you that spot because that's probably not what that what is good for you, man. Yep. You see what I'm saying? But that takes total trust into the Lord, man. Just like a newborn baby would trust, you know, that his mother would feed him and he's dependent on his mother to feed him, man. We're dependent on the Lord to do the same for us, man. You know? All right, let's My get back. Go ahead. Says, mm -hmm. um, this is 12 and 11 again. It says, no discipline. Hebrews 12 and 11? Yes, sir. In the NOT? Yes, sir. Come. It says, no discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. Mm -hmm. 
it's painful. It's <laughs> Afterward, there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. That's so true. So he's making it pretty much second nature. Mm -hmm. It's like any sport that you learn. Practice how you play. Mm -hmm. And when you practice it so much, mm -hmm. it start, it's going to start happening. It's like muscle memory. It come natural. So that's what's happening to us now. These these um, these that the Lord are teaching us, we're, we're rehearsing the righteous acts so that when that time does come, it's muscle memory. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And this is this is something that we already foreknew anyway, man. Come. What the scriptures say, uh, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, man. The Lord already knew us when we was in the world, man. And you know that hey, that's double fold, man. He knew us with you know before our mo actual mother birthed us, but he actually knew us as well too. You know what I'm saying? When we was in the womb of America, this you know uh, 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 in this world, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know, and in this world birthed you know wickedness, man. You know, and that's that's what what this this world breeded, man. A hey, pure wickedness, man. But we were when we were born once uh, all over again, man. Hey, hey, we get like you said, we got a clean slate. The Lord and washed the filth, you know, and still washing the filth daily. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and us becoming, a, you know, better men. He said, though mm -hmm. your garments be red like scarlet, yeah, and crimson. Yeah, like crimson. He said it should be as white as snow. That's it, man. And that's gonna be in the kingdom, of course, when the Lord. You know, sprinkle that and purify us, you know, totally. All Israel. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And, and that's going to be in the kingdom, man. You feel what I'm saying? But right now, hey, hey, bit by bit, man, the Lord is cleaning us, cleansing us. And, you know, and sprinkling us and cleansing us, waking us up. Ezekiel right. 37. You see what I'm saying? By what? The washing of the water of the word, man. Yep. You know, that's that's in the book of Ephesians, man. All right, let's go on back to... Um, First Peter. Yes, sir. I started at the top again. Come on. First Peter chapter two, mm -hmm. verse one. Wherefore, laying aside all malice mm -hmm. and guile and hypocrisies and envies mm -hmm. and all evil speakings, mm -hmm. as a newborn babe mm -hmm. desires the sincere milk of the word. Let's lock it. Mm -hmm. it. Says as a newborn babe desire the sincere milk of the word, mm -hmm. that you may grow thereby. That you may grow thereby, man. Which means what? Don't try to skip over the the, the milk to get to the meat, man. You know, learn, you know, what's sufficient for you, man. You know, at the time, man, whatever the Lord, you know, or the level the Lord got you on at the time, man. Hey, get that, perfect that, man. You know, and have that grow you, man. You know, it ain't, no, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, understanding, you know, you know, uh, the prophecies, the breakdown, because we understand you how a shy comes in the, you know, the spirit of prophecy, man. But what good is all that, man, when your conduct is fucked up? Yep. What good is all that, man, when you don't know how to treat a brother? Yep. What good is all that shit, man, when you don't know how to wash your ass properly, properly? What good is all that when you're not taking accountability in your life? What good is all that, man, when 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 we um you know um that's that's pretty much hey that's it, man. Not taking responsibility and accountability, man. What good is that shit? What good is that if you don't have charity, man? All right, what good is that all that if you're not accepting your Howard Shy? You that see what I'm saying? Fundamentals, that that's it, man. You know, because the fundamentals is the key. You know, we, we must be fundamentally sound in this truth, man. You know? And that's knowing certain things, you know, that that, that actually, you know, that can save your soul, man. Because we ain't going to know all the law. You see what I'm saying? We ain't going to know everything about the law and this and that, you know? And now, don't get me wrong. It's good to study it and go into it, man. Because it is our schoolmaster. But it was leading us up to Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Because Yahweh Shai gives us a grace, you know? You know, uh, 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 mixed with the faith to be able to, uh, 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 you know, get it right within this uh, grace period, man. Come. You see what I'm saying? So it takes time to grow, man. The Lord know that. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord will, 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 will endow, you know, and, and, and grow up, you know, who, whomever he see fit, you know, in his in his time, man. Come. Some grow faster than others, man. Yep. Some grow bigger than others, man. But nevertheless, man, the Lord gives the increase, man. It's funny mm -hmm. you say that because I learned something when I was um, tutoring at a high school. Come. And it was from this one lady and she was um, with child and she pretty much was like, did you know mm -hmm. that a baby's um, breast milk changes color due to what the baby needs at that time? That's it, man. So every that's why <laughs> when you put these babies on formula, it messes them up because that's it. the mother has the, the right nourishment for what that child needs, what yep. that child needs. Yeah, especially if her diet is on point. Come. You know, if I, if her diet is on point or whatever, and she's doing what she needs, because that's this is how that baby is to get nourished, man. Mm -hmm. It depends on his mother and her diet and whatever she puts in her body. 
Because this is whatever she puts in her body will affect the child. Huh. That's why they say don't take certain medicines and, and certain, uh, uh, you know, if you want certain prescriptions, you know, while you're breastfeeding, you know, or even while you, you know, while you have the child. Why? Because you can, <laughs> you can affect, you know, or, or cause a defect within that child, man. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's when it comes to this doctrine, man, when it comes to this truth, man. You know, you got to speak the 100% truth, man. Or else, if it, if it's any leaven within this truth, you know, within the doctrine that you're pushing, you know, it would affect and defect, you know, who you teaching. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So it's important for you to have this sincere milk and, and have 100% truth, starting with the apostles and elders and bishops on down. You see what I'm saying? Because we don't want to be defected, man. Uh -huh. You know, defected by who? But de defected by the Lord, man. You feel what I'm saying? Ah, uh, you got to be, bro. In the NOT, First mm -hmm. Peter 2 and 2, it says, mm -hmm. Like newborn babes, ye must crave pure spiritual Ooh. milk so that ye will grow into a full experience That's it. of salvation. Cry out for this nourishment. Cry out for this nourishment, man, you know? And that's what we're doing, man. You're supposed to uh, be, you know, um, crying, you know, to, to, to suck more milk, man. Spiritually, man. You're supposed to be dealing with brothers, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't put just... You know, if a brother asks you, you know what I'm saying, to do a video or to, if a brother asks you, you know, to, to sup with him or whatever it may be, man. If you know this brother's in the truth and he's trying to the best of his ability, man, you walk with that brother, man. You help that brother nourish and nourish that brother up, man. You see what I'm saying? You don't just sit back. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 and don't respond to the brother, man. You know, you don't do that. You feel what I'm saying? You nourish that brother up, man. And you do what you got to do to make sure that brother is nourished up the right way, man. You know? Real talk, man. And that's what it's about, man. You know, because what good are we if we don't have a brotherhood, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, that's why it's no it's a known fact that when you know when a child is growing up by itself, no siblings, and nobody to play with, man, that that, that child is gonna have some some problems, man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? He's gonna have some some type of uh, uh coping problems, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if anybody need coping, it's us, man. Because we depressing this fucking truth, man. You know, we we deal with a lot of depression, you know, a, a lot of uh, mental, you know, uh, problems. You see what I'm saying? Motherfuckers thinking we're crazy and shit, you know, but we not crazy, man. You know, but this this shit is therapy to, unto us, man. You know what I'm saying? We need this shit, man. You know why? Because it can build us up, you know, and build our strength up, man, and build our confidence up, man. The younger brothers gonna need the older brothers for confidence, man. The younger brother, uh, the older brothers are going to need the younger brothers for strength, man. And we just bounce that spirit off each other, man. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's about. You feel what I'm saying? That's why it's called a sacrifice, man. You know, we sacrificing the world, our lives, our jobs. And, you know, if we can, you know, I ain't saying, you know, you know, <laughs> call off work, you know, whatever, you know, not unless it's a holy day or whatever, you know, but do what you got to do, man, to make yourself a sacrifice within this truth, man. Okay. Right, you guys, let's get something else. What else we got? I got that Proverbs. Yeah, let's get that. This is Proverbs 8 and 34. Hold on, let me Actually, get I'm that. starting 33. Okay. Proverbs 8 and 33. Let's do it. It says, Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates, mm -hmm. waiting at the post of my doors. Mm, beautiful. Go ahead. Whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So this is going back into that uh, that NFT version of uh, it's like uh, First Peter's. Okay. He said this is that salvation. That's he it. said you got to cry out for this. That's so that's it. what like, you got to wait at that doorpost daily, waiting mm -hmm. for the next thing the Lord is going to uh, what's it called given to you. That's it. Just right? like just like a child. You know the child. You know when you know when his father comes home or whatever mother. You know they have to wait on dinner, man. They have to wait on breakfast, man. They have to wait on lunch. Come. You see what I'm saying? They can't go out and do it themselves and fix it themselves or prepare the shit themselves. You know, they got to wait on, you know, they got to wait on their father, their parents for that shit, man. And that's what we doing. We waiting on our spiritual father. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, our father in heaven, you know, Yahweh and the son Yahweh Shai, man, for this nourishment, man. You see what I'm saying? Be the Holy Spirit, you know? And we're getting nourished, man. You know, we're getting built up, you know, the right way. Huh. You know, through faith, we believe that. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Had it not, hey, the Lord wouldn't be chastising us right now, man. You see what I'm saying? Hey, that, and that's exactly what we're doing. Read that in the NLT. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, 
It says Proverbs 8 and 33, and I'll go down again in NLT. Come. Listen to my instructions and be wise. Don't ignore it. Mm -hmm. Joyful are those who listen to me, watching from me daily at mm -hmm. my gates, mm -hmm. waiting for me outside my home. Hey, hey, when you see, you know, a father come home, you know what I'm saying? That's what came to my mind. When you see a father come home, you see a child, when you're a child and shit, man. Hey, man, that was one of the best things, one of the best feelings, man. You know what I'm saying? You had ever, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was your stepfather, whether it was your father, whatever it was, man. As a child, you don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? You just want your daddy to be there. You know? We understand that feeling, man. And that's how we want, you know, with the Lord, man. You know? We want the Lord to be there for us, man. And take not that Holy Spirit from us, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a very, you know, a, 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 a dangerous thing, man, for the Lord, you know, to, to, to turn his face. You know, as a father... You know, he turned his face from his children, man. You see what I'm saying? But guess what? A, hey, our father had to do that to us. He had to turn his face from us to teach us a lesson. That was a, a part of him chastising us, man. Uh. You see what I'm saying? Because he understood if you if you spare that rod, you're going to spoil the child. You're going to spoil the children of Israel, man. So you got you to gotta put that rod on their ass in order for them to understand and know. And just like we said earlier, man, hey, the, 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 the righteous, you know, children is going to come back to the Lord saying, man, you know, we messed up, man. Hey, man, how can we make this better? You know, let's uh, make this, let's clean, let's, can we start off with a clean slate? How can I make my bow with you? That's it, man. And that's how we coming with the Lord. You know, I, 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 hey, but we have to be born again. We got to, we come with a, a whole new, another spirit, man. A broken and contrite spirit, man. Just like a babe, man. You know, real talk. Uh, Verse 35. Come on. It says, for whoever finds me finds life mm -hmm. and receives favor from the Lord. That's what we're trying to do, man. All right? We're trying to receive favor of the Lord, man. Okay? Because we have favor in this world. And it didn't get us nowhere, man. Come. You know, it didn't benefit us nothing. You know, but favor of the Lord, man, is going to give us everlasting life and eternal life, man. You know? That favor in the Lord is going to get us from, you know, is going to protect us from that second death. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's going to protect us, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? That's the favor of the Lord, man. We need to be favored among many, man. Uh -huh. And we are, if we believe that, man. But we cannot, we not only going to believe it, man. We got to show it, man. We got to make our calling and election sure, man, to the best of our ability. But, man, yeah, that's Go what ahead. it says. Um, but those that will lose their life for my sake shall find it. And those who lose, uh, who try to save their life, Shall lose it. Yes, it. Says, what is it to gain the whole world but to lose by your own soul? That's it. So, like he was saying, you gain favor this whole world, but what did it profit you? Exactly. Because exactly. in that time of salvation, what is it going to do for you? Yeah. He says, riches, riches profit if not. Man, the day so all right. the stuff that's mm -hmm. around you that you're putting your energy into mm -hmm. is not going to help you in that day. That's but it. Giving up your life on this side and, and supping and crying out for that that's called that good nourishment Ooh. is going to lead you into the straight gate. That's it. That's what's going to save you, man. And that's, that's what's going to find you favor, like the Lord said. Yeah, because that's what we were seeking, validation in the world, man. You know, we had a, a childlike mindset, man. You know, but what Paul said, oh, let's get that. 1 Corinthians 13. You done with this? Yeah. 1 Corinthians 13, let's get that. You know, because, we, hey, just like Paul said, man, when I was a child, uh, I don't want to butcher it. <clears throat> 13, and go down. 11. I speak as a child. I understood as a child. Well, let's, let's start at... Um, 10. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, go ahead. This is first Corinthians. Well, but... let's start at 11. Get to the point. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. When I was a child, I spake as a child. Mm -hmm. I understood as a child. Mm -hmm. I thought as a child. Mm -hmm. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Hey, man, I don't care how old you think you is, man. All right, well, like I say, when you come in, when you first come into this truth, man, we all started off as babies, man. So we all children unto the Lord, hence the children of Israel, man. Oh. You see what I'm saying? We all children unto the Lord. You know, when we when you compare us to the Lord and what and, and what His righteous acts, you see what I'm saying? But when we was in the child, that child, you know, is symbolic of the world. You know, because this world have a childlike mis mentality, man. Everything is all right. Everything is is not disciplined. It's not in order. You see what I'm saying? It's it's um almost kind of a kind of a um microwave type you know uh, world yes. you know where everything has to be you know right here in your hands and whatever ready for you you know 
when you come into this truth, man, it takes time to nourish you up, man. It's, it's the equivalent to having a, a fast food restaurant, you know, opposed to a, a, a restaurant that you got to wait on your food, man. Yep. You know, you got to wait on your food to, you know, to dine your food. You know, it takes time to cook, you know, fried chicken or grilled chicken. You know, it takes time to cook, you know, certain things, man. Especially since it's fresh. Exactly, man. You know, but that's this world, man. This world is in that microwave type of mentality, man. But when you come into this truth, man, you got to, you got to uh, 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 take a slow process, man. You know, that process has to be slowed down, man. You know, in order for the Lord to deal with you, man. Okay. So when we was children, man, we thought as children, you know, we were speaking as children. Our conversation was a childlike, and, you know, mentality. Okay. We understood, you know, uh, certain things as a child. But guess what? The Lord is building us to be up to, up to be men, bro. So that means we got to put off the world, man. We got to uh -huh. put off that childlike mentality, man, and start accepting accountability and, and, and responsibility in this truth, man. Whatever your lot may be, okay. But first, you must desire that sincere milk, man. You know. Reach uh, verse twelve. This is verse twelve. For now. We see through a glass darkly, mm -hmm. but then face to face, but but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. That's it, man. When you're a child, man, a baby, man, whatever, you know, you're not going to know everything, man. You know, but this is what Yahweh Shai is here for, man. You know, he's here to take, you know, the other part of what we don't know, man. You know, because a lot of things we feel that we should know. You know, a lot of us shouldn't know it, man. You know, the Lord reveals certain things to certain men, you know, at the, at certain times. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? In, in in his season, you know, at the end of the day, man. So what 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 you know? You might not need to know certain prophecies right now, cause why? It might puff you up. The scriptures wow. say knowledge puffs it up. Yeah, it can destroy you, man. Too much, cause too much of that shit would destroy you, man. Yeah. Are they, are they eating too much meat, man? That's why it's good to have a balance, man. That's why it's good, even when you are grew up into this truth, to always go back to that milk. Because it's always going to nourish you. It's always going to be there to nourish you, man. And you can never go wrong with the milk. Yep, everybody <laughs> has their own diet. Yeah, that's it, man. Diet is very... Ooh, that's beautiful. That's a video. You know, diet is very important in this truth, man. We ain't talking about physical food, man. Uh -huh. We talking about the spiritual food. You see what I'm saying? That diet, because you have to be disciplined in order to stick it to that diet, man. Yep. You know, when we come into this truth, we got to be disciplined, you know, in order to stick to the milk. You know what I'm saying? And not try to veer off to the meat, you know, too far. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Can't indulge too much. Right, that shit gonna might bug a motherfucker out, man. Yep. You know, but get trained up and nourished up on this milk, man. You know, because it can make your bones fat, man. Yep. You know, you got something? Um, I get that verse 12 in the NLT. Con, go it ahead. says, now we see things imperfectly, mm -hmm. like puzzling reflections in a mirror. Mm -hmm. But then we'll then we will see everything with perfect clarity. Right. All that I know now is partial and mm -hmm. incomplete. Mm -hmm. But then I will know everything completely, just as Yahweh now knows me completely. Yeah, it's just like a baby when he first come out the womb. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he you know, some of them be blind, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or don't even open their eyes, boss. You see what I'm saying? But when he start opening his eyes, it's damn, that's, you know, he start to see things clearly, man. You know, and then when he get built up and his eyes get stronger, whatever it is, he start to recognize what he's actually looking at, man. And start putting a name to it all. That's a, oh, that's daddy. Oh, that's mama. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's how we is in this truth, man. You know, it's a process, bro. All right? Great example is like when you was growing up, your parents always said, mm -hmm. "Enjoy your childhood. Don't try to um, grow up grow too up fast." Grow up too fast, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh -huh. So when you was a child, you didn't understand. Uh -huh. Just for an example, you didn't know what bills were, you didn't know what laws were, all of these different things because you was underneath your um, parents' covering. That's it. Yeah. But when you grew up, you started to see everything fully. You started to see mm -hmm. everything that was around you, okay. the whole setup. Come, okay. if I may, it was. It's kind of like this too when you was younger, you know, and they and they gave you food. And they was like, well, don't let your eyes get too bigger than your stomach. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because sometimes in this truth, your eyes can get too bigger than your stomach. The, 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 the belly being what? The mind. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And the eye, hey, hey, just because, you know, you know it, that don't mean it's good to go into it. Uh. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because it might be too much for you. 
you know? That's why it's good to stick with the basics, man. Yep. You know, stick with the milk, you know? Until the Lord gives you an increase, you know, and builds you up, you know, with enough milk mm -hmm. to where you be ready to eat this, you know, and try some of this meat, man. You know what I mean? What else you got? We can go to 2nd Ezra 15. Not unless you want to go into something else. Nah, I'll get to 2nd Ezra. Uh, we're gonna start. It's a lot of second edges, two. two I was just yeah, I'm three, tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two and fifty. I just had to go back in my notes. Hey, that's milk. Milk. Hey, <laughs> no. Hey, no. Notes is milk, bro. Yeah. Are right, you there? Yep. All right, go ahead. This is second edges, chapter two, and verse fifteen. Mm -hmm. Mother, embrace thy children and bring them up with gladness. Mm -hmm. Make their feet as fast as a pillar, for I have chosen thee, said the Lord. Yeah, because the Lord chose us, you know, and revived us back into this truth, man, and made us born again, man. You see what I'm saying? And he used that mother, that woman, that Sophia, which is wisdom, man, to embrace us, man. All right? And build us up, man. Okay? When you see a child, you know, when he first get out, he not walking, man. All right? Then when he get enough strength, what he doing? He crawling. Okay. Then we get in, you know, his, his feet get and his leg get stronger. Well, he, he taking the little steps and he falling, you know. Yep. So it's a process, man. That's what we doing in this in this truth as well, too. Uh. You know. So it's a process, man. And eventually, you know, we'll be running. <laughs> you know, we'll be running with this thing, man. But hey, but can't, don't ignore, you know, the process, man. All right. And embrace the slow the slow learning, man. Embrace that shit, man. Because it's on the, it ain't gonna doing nothing but building you up, man. You know, and making you strong enough. You know, just you know to be able to uh, 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 deal with that meat. All right, read 15. I mean, it's like 16. It says, and those that be dead will I raise up again from their places mm -hmm. and bring them out of the graves, mm -hmm. for I have known my name in Israel. You see that? And the Lord rose us out of the graves, man. You know, which really is uh, symbolic to that dead state. You know, which re refers back to uh, Ezekiel 37. You know, in Revelations, um, what's that, 11? You know, where it said that dead bodies should lie in that great city, which is spiritually, spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. You know? Hey, that those dead, you know, will be raised up into their places, man. And, and that's happening right now on the spiritual to uh, tip. Oh. You see what I'm saying? The Lord has got us out of those graves. Those graves is symbolic of death, man. Or being dead. Or in a lower state. You see what I'm saying? Spiritually. Okay? This is what the Lord has done for us, man. So to pay him back, man, we have to what? Desire that sincere milk, man. We have to we have to get brought up in this thing the right way, man. You know? That was it. Uh, read 17. Gone. It says, fear not, thou mother. Of the children. Like, fear mm -hmm. not, thou mother of the children. For I have chosen thee, said the Lord. Yeah, that's it, man. The Lord has chosen us, man. You know? The Lord has chosen us to wake us up, you know, out of our graves and for the Holy Spirit to deal with us, man. Okay? Nothing more, nothing less, man. It was nothing of nothing that we did righteously, you know, but it was all predestined, you know, since the beginning of the, or the foundation of the earth, man. Yes, sir. You know? Nothing that we did that's so spectacular for the Lord to just say, oh, well, you, you know, you did that so no, nah, man. You know? It was all pre-selection, man. You yeah. know? Uh... It was more too, but we can go ahead and get get another one, and if you want to, let's go to First Corinthians three. Yeah, start at one. Let's lock it. First Corinthians three, chapter three, and verse one. And I, brethren, do not speak unto you as into spiritual, but as into carnal, mm -hmm. even as into babes and Hamashiach. That's it, man. The Lord, hey, Paul, talking about hey, he, he's speaking of spiritual, man. All right. I, for like he said, and I, brethren, could not speak unto you at, uh, uh, as unto spiritual, but as to carnal. The Lord, you know, Paul had to meet, a, meet us on that level, man. Even though Paul, you know, he, 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 he knew the, the, the meat. You know, he was brought up in the customs of, of being an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. You see what I'm saying? So he understood that, man. Okay. 
So he had to meet the uh, the, 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 the Sadducees and the Pharisees or the ones who was brought up in the law, you know, on, on that level, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He had to meet them on that carnal level, man. Why? To, yeah, to guile them back into the truth, man. You know, oh, that's what it say. It says in NLT, I had to talk as though you belong to this world. That's it, boss. Let me get it first. Go ahead. Go ahead. It said, I started to talk. Mm -hmm. Dear brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. when I was with you, I couldn't talk to you as I would to spiritual people. That's it. I had to talk to <laughs> Why? Because they weren't going to understand that. Man. Exactly. They weren't going to understand, you know, that spiritual talk, that heavenly talk, man. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because the Lord wasn't dealing with them on that type of level, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? The Lord was dealing with them on a the, on the carnal level. You see what I'm saying? So, But it took Paul, it's lucky for these sirens, but it took, took Paul to notice that, you know, for the Lord to deal with Paul because Paul understood he could relate. Oh, that's it. He could relate to, you know, uh, um, to them on that carnal level, man. You see what I'm saying? That's why when it when it, it's going to be eat when it comes to the spirit, he going to relate to them on this carnal level. But so when it comes to the spirit, man, it'd be, hey, you'll be right there. To receive uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So sometimes, we, uh, you know, uh, hey, and it's truth, man. We got to meet, you know, ones who, you know, be uh, uh, he was wise, win souls. You know, we got to meet them on their level, man. You know? And we understand because we was once there. Uh -huh. You know, we was once in the world. You know what I mean? It's like, go ahead, people. Uh, we can go back to the KJV. Oh, no, no, no. You finish that out. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it says... I had to talk as though you belong to this world or as though you were infants in the Christian life. That's crazy, man. That's that's so beautiful, man. You know, keep that. Um, keep that because I see verse two. Read verse two then. Like, this in, is, in I have fed. Oh, let me read that in the NLT first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, I have fed you with milk, mm -hmm. not with solid food because Ooh. you weren't ready for anything strong. That's it, man. Hey, man, you got to come to grips in your life, man. You're just not ready for anything stronger than the milk, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And be okay with that. You know, and let the Lord nourish you up enough, all right, to where when it's time to get that milk, oh, to, to get that meat, you built up for it, man. Okay. All right? Your immune system is built up for the meat. All right? Spiritual immune system. That's mighty. You know what I mean? Hey, 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 you, you, your, your mind and your, you know, they said when a, when a child and the baby's on breast milk, you know, it, you know, their mind develops better and different and stronger. You know what I mean? You know, and that's all off milk. All off the right milk, the breast milk, you know, from the mother. The mother is symbolic of wisdom, man. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Not this, uh, 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 what you call that milk? Um, formula. The formula milk. <laughs> that formula milk is these... Uh, other e formulas formula. of doctrines yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying these other formulas it's funny it's formula you know it's concocted up doctrine man you it's know what it. i'm saying that's not up your house shy man go ahead big bro it says because you weren't ready for anything stronger uh -huh. and still aren't ready and you still ain't ready man you know a lot a lot of brothers a lot is that these other camps man still ain't ready bro these other camps you know what i'm saying that's pushing you know uh paul wasn't you know uh, other elect or paul uh, pretty much they were saying i don't want to misquote a brother but they say uh paul isn't isn't um uh pretty much qualified you know to 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 to, to trump over you how shy hey but how shy taught paul personally man yeah how shy you know so he's coming in the state what he say in first corinthians uh, 11 uh or or is that 12 he say uh be ye fathers of me even as i am even as i have yahweh shah mashiach man so yeah so paul followed yahweh shah mashiach man you know what i'm saying and he made sure that he, you know, spoke to you as a man in some instances. And he spoke to you, you know, thus said the Lord, man. You know, it don't have to say thus says the Lord, man. But he's coming in the stead, man. He's coming in that order. All right? Yeah, but he, and he understood who was ready for the meat and who was ready for the milk, man. He knew it. Okay? You got more? Uh, verse 3. Mm -hmm. It says, for you are still controlled by your sinful nature. That's it, man. That's that carnal. That's that flesh. You see what I'm saying? Hey, even us in the truth, man. You know, a lot of us are still, you know, though we know the truth, you know, which is a, a beautiful thing, you know, a lot of us are still driven by the flesh, man. You know? And we're still letting the flesh, you know, uh, 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 take a hold of us, man. Uh -huh. You know? That's why there are certain things that the Lord told us to do, like fasting and praying. You know what I'm saying? To be able to build us up. Man, that's milk too. Yep. Fasting and praying, man. Although it's, it's it's simple, but guess what? It's one of the most powerful things you can do. It's funny because one of the <laughs> brothers just sent that in the all group. Mm -hmm. And the video pretty much was going into how 
he said you wonder why you can't fight off certain these demons mm -hmm. it's because he said it's um you don't fast that's he it he said you're fighting on the devil's um playing playground field. that's it man exactly you're fighting yeah. on the devil's playing field you're giving him leverage that's it but when you fast you're at a you're at a spirit you're at a higher spiritual level that's so it so it's harder for the, the devil to use certain things because now you have the leverage yeah because you can't fight satan in the flesh you know because that was his that was that's that's, his, his that's why he reigned yeah. you know that's why he you know that's like trying to fight a wrestler you see what i'm saying a greco-roman wrestler you know on the ground it don't make and you a, and you a boxer uh, you see what i'm saying that don't make you're yeah, gonna lose that fight fam <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know so we gotta we gotta meet him in the air you know like i think i know what you're talking about he was going into the spiritual judah you know uh uh lord spirit spiritual levi i believe that's his name brother from mississippi yeah, beautiful mighty, mighty brother mighty brother bro you know what i'm saying but he was saying you know as an eagle and a snake Yep. You know, hey, as a as an eagle, man, you it's, it it'll be stupid for you to a fight a, a snake on the ground. You see what I'm saying? Where he has the leverage. You know why? Because he's low to the ground. He understands and know how to maneuver on the ground, man. You see what I'm saying? Whereas if you got that motherfucker and took him in the sky, you see what I'm saying? Took hold of that that serpent and took him in the sky. You know he can't he he can't do nothing, man. Why? Because he ain't got no legs. He ain't got no arms. Squirm. Yeah, he he really can't do shit. Because even if he squirm and try to you know, coil you up, you know, guess what? I'm going to stop flying and you're going to fall to your death anyway. You, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, his his advantage is not, you know, in the heavens, man. You know, in the spiritual, man. That's what we reign, you know, supreme more. Because we got the Lord fighting for us, man. You see what I'm saying? But we got to tap into it, man. You know, and in order to tap into that, man, we got to get built up on this milk, man. That's why it mm -hmm. says... Our weapons of warfare are not carnal. That's Even it. Being in flesh, we don't fight as a flesh. That's it, yeah. But we fight through what? The mm -hmm. power of the Lord. That's, that's it. That's our uh, power. That's, that's it. That's our gift. That's our power source, man. You're right, man. You know, that's 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 what we specialize in. Yep. In the spirit. You know, why he specialized in the flesh. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and being though is being though that we came from the flesh, you know, we understand, we have a balance in this thing because we understand how he coming. You know, we understood in a carnal fight, you know how a motherfucker going to come. He going to come dirty as hell. He, he going to throw some sand in your fucking eyes. You know, he going to try to trip you up. You know, he ain't going to fight square up. You know, that's how Satan uh, uh, operate. Come you know, on. but in the spirit, guess what? He ain't got no other choice. You see what I'm saying? Because he, he can't even fight spiritual, man. Yep. You know, he don't even know, you know, he, can't, he ain't going to be, be able to see it coming, man. You know what I mean? That's why it's important for us. You know what I'm saying? To switch, the, you know, the, uh, the paradigm ship, you know, switch the, uh, the narrative on his ass. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and what do you say? Walk in the spirit and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You know, it's easier said than done. But that's why it takes practice, man. That's why it takes you the milk to build you up, you know, and to nourish you to where you, when you, you know, when you in the spirit, you know, you know what it is. You know how to maneuver in the spirit, man. And still, like Paul said, meet a motherfucker on a carnal level as well, too. But you're still spiritual. You know, uh, you got more to this. Yeah, I'll just finish it out. Go ahead. It says, "For you are controlled by your sinful nature." Go ahead, nature. call it out. It's locked in. First Corinthians chapter three and three. Mm -hmm. For you are, for you are still controlled by your sinful nature. Mm -hmm. You are jealous of one another and mm -hmm. quarrel with each other. God. Doesn't that prove you are controlled by your sinful nature? Mm -hmm. Aren't you living like people of the world? That's it, living like people of the world, man. When you consider, you know, two children, you know, fighting on the playground. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They fighting over some bullshit toys. You know what I'm saying? That neither one of them bought. Right. You know they fighting over a, a section or whatever it is, or a playground or, or, or a swing or whatever it may be. You see what I'm saying? And, and they fuck around and still be friends because what? They don't even know what the hell they fighting over, man. You know? Right? They just fighting just to be fighting. You know that's what happens in the world, man. You know? But when we come into this truth, man, no, I ain't no fighting. You know we have disagreements or whatever, but it's worked out through the spirit. You know, it's worked out if it ain't, you know, work if 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 it don't edify the flock or if it's not worked out, you know, via the scriptures, you know, hey, you you toss that shit out. That, that shit gotta be swept under the rug, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's 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 meaningless, it's pointless. Oh. You know, it's vanity, it's empty. You know what I mean? That's what we find out when we come into this truth, man. We find out everything that we was fighting for, you know, was all a lie. And this is the real fight right here, man. Everything that we was fighting for was was all a joke, man. You know, the streets, we fighting for 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 domination in the streets, for money, that bag, whatever it is. It was all vanity, bro. 
You know, Solomon told us, man. You know, you can have and gain all this shit. It's all vanity at the end of the day. That's because no... Good. It's like, go ahead. That's why it goes back to that math. You said you mm. gained the whole world, but you lose your soul. soul. That's it, yeah. It doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. It's pointless, man. You know, it's like, like the apostle always like to bring out. It's super foolish, you know? You know, it means nothing, okay? But when you come into this truth, you understand who you're fighting, what you're fighting, how you're fighting, when the fight going to be over, <laughs> damn near. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that is Shit. true. Hey, you know, you, you know thyself and you know your, your opponent, man. And your biggest opponent is yourself, man. Uh. Starts with yourself, man. Because conquering yourself is conquering the flesh. You know? Overcoming the, uh, your, the, the flesh will be overcoming the world, man. And we'll be just like Yahweh Shai. He said, oh, hey, he gonna overcome just like he overcame, man. Okay? There's more to it. Mm, do you want me to get four? Because if you get four, you're gonna end up going all the way down. No. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's go to, um, that should be it, man. Um, that's it, bro. Let's, 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 we got, what you want? Uh, let's, you. let's end off at Matthew 11 and 25. Come on. Yeah, because we got to get ready to go to uh, yeah, study. Yeah, my mm -hmm. uh, Matthew 11 25. And the KJV. Come on. This is Matthew 11 25. You want me to get both or just KJV? Uh, we can start with the KJV first. Hey, so what it, what the head and say? Come to me. Oh, Come good. to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, you know, we got to we got to be like babes in this thing. That's what I need to be doing. You know? We got to be like babes in this thing, man. You ask your child, you know, you demand your child to come to me, man. You don't want your child to be hesitate. You know, you want him to come when you on your on your demand and your command. Okay? Go ahead. It says Matthew 11 and 25. Mm -hmm. At that time, Yahweh shall answer and said, I thank thee, O Father, mm -hmm. Yahweh of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them into the, into the babe. That's it, man. Hey, what would seem to be wise and prudent, you know, which is this world, you know, and these so-called leaders in Israel, whatever it is, man. You know, the Lord turned around and gave this knowledge, this wisdom, and this understanding to, to babes, man. So th though you are a babe, Think it not the light thing, man. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Because you are far ahead of the world. Yep. Why? Because you got this knowledge, this truth, this wisdom, this understanding, man. That's it. You got a head start to the game. That's it, man. People think because you a babe. No, nah, bro. The Lord is dealing with the babes, man. Yep. Okay? But you must first, you know, desire to sincere milk, man, and come, and come as babes unto the Lord, man. Knowing nothing so the Lord can build you up and nourish you up the right way, man. You got anything? And with that, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Hey, Amen. Hey, Shalom to the elect, Shalom, you know, to Israel, Shalom to the apostles and elders and bishops. He a great millstone, you know, who rule and teach well. Hey, Amen. Desire the sincere milk of the Lord, man. All right. And the Lord will nourish you up and build you up, you know, the right way, man. All right. And with that, on to the next one, man. Shalom. Shalom.